What's up, guys? Back with another vlog. Got some plans today for my car. Gotta lower my front more. I don't know if you can tell. It's just kind of high to me, so I'm gonna lower it more. I gotta repaint my front grill. Uh, gotta wash it today. Gotta wash the inside. Gotta redo my spoiler because I kind of messed up on it. But we're gonna see. Oh, I do. Have a little bit of leftover. So hopefully that works. It's hot right now. It's still like 100 outside. But I gotta get it done because I gotta go to a car meet later. Hopefully. We'll see. But we definitely already kind of low already so I'm a little bit scared. oh shit I'm a little bit scared but it's fucking hot I'm telling you guys it's hot as fuck so we're gonna do that we're gonna get the jack we're gonna put it on some jack stands and start working on it cause I don't know I think you have like two hours to play with so we'll see. So what I'm first gonna do is probably start the front grill and paint it. So I'm gonna see if I have any masking tape or anything to cover up my paint because I don't want to get uh, paint on my car. So looks like I don't have any. All right. We're gonna go for the gusto then. We're just gonna fucking, we're just gonna spray it on and then see how that goes. So get right back to you in a bit. All right. So we're back. Got the umbrella out, out of breath because that thing was like 70 pounds. Got some shade to work on over here. I'm gonna start prepping the front so I can spray paint it. It's hot. I'm tired. I gotta get this done because you guys can. Let me see. Cause that's the front how it sits. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm tired. That's the front how it sits. That's the, come on, dude. that's the rear. So I do want the front matching the back just so it looks good. So, I'm gonna start painting this and you can see right here. All right, I ended up finished painting, where's that? The front grill. But sheesh, look at my car, sheesh. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna finish finishing up the front grill. Sheesh, look at that. Oh, looks way nicer from the, cause this, where's that? This part was chrome and then all this part was chrome, but I ended up painting it all black. So it looks nicer. So now we just gotta let that dry for like 15 more minutes and then we're gonna start working on the right height in the front but it cooled down a lot it's not 100 anymore it's probably like 86 maybe out here in riverside but still got my umbrella up gonna work on the car i do gotta clean my engine bay because it's dirty but once that's done drying and once we're done uh not hiring lowering the front we're gonna wash the inside and outside and then I'm, I am gonna detail the engine bay and just kind of get it ready for the weekend because I think we're going on a car meet on the weekend. So kind of get it prepped. Inside's a little dirty from work. Got Pat back there, Gary's, oh there's Gary. But yeah, my car gets dirty from work. I work at a warehouse for now, but cha, got some carbon. It's fake carbon. It's like a wrap you buy at, at O'Reilly's and you just wrap it on. But we're fixing that today. It's going to go lower to match the rear. And then my carbon spoiler too. It's real carbon. I got to redo it because it's on Cricut. So I got to redo that because it's on. See, I don't know if you can see the gaps in there. Right here too. That's not good. So we got to fix that so it doesn't fly off but yeah so let the paint dry lower the front wash it wash the inside the outside and
in the engine bay. And then should be ready. And then right here too for my a lot of Nissans don't have this. Little little steering wheel. And then pop this off. There you go. So it just comes off. I usually plot it right here in the front for when I go to car meets and stuff. But I'm tired. It's hot. My throat's dry. My voice is starting to change up on me because I'm tired, thirsty, I'm a little bit stressed. So my voice usually tends to change up on me when I go through through those like little moods. But we'll get that going. What's up guys, it's six foot again. So today we're gonna be replacing my CV axle. And pretty much what this does, it spins the wheel for you to drive. So every time when you press the gas, this spins and turns your wheel that way you go. So we gotta replace that. I got the new one in here. The reason why I'm, I'm replacing it is because there's a rip right here. That's not supposed to be like that. So we're gonna change it. We got the bumper off. We're about to take all this off. I got this off ready. We're gonna take this off, that off. And then we should be able to take that out and put the new one in. So I'll give you guys, oh, we gotta fix my ABS sensor too. So we'll get back to you guys on this. All right, so we took the whole caliper off. So it's this and that that wraps around your brake disc for um, for you to be able to brake. So we have to take that off. The next step is to disconnect this. That way I can knock this out and put the new one in. So it shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see when we get to the point. My bad guys, I forgot to record it, but um, I'll record the other side this time. But basically, I disconnected these, disconnected, where's it at? My rotor and the part for the caliper and take this nut off and this whole thing comes off and you're able to get to the CB axle. Um, it was a little challenging because it did not want to come off, but after like, I think 40 minutes, it popped off. This is the old one. See, you can see the old one was broken. That's not supposed to be like that. You're not even, even able supposed to see that. And oh, bear with me. That's part of it. So all oh, that that pretty much goes that pretty much goes in there. It's a one piece, and all that was broken. So I had to replace this and put the new one in, so it drives more better. Because that CB axle locks into your transmission and able to drive. You need the right here it's like grease it like lubricates the inside of that as it spins and when it, there's nothing in there it's like basically metal on metal so it strips itself and you won't be able to drive so you kind of need to fix that anyways so this time i'm gonna record the other side but i'm basically gonna put everything back on so tell them what we're doing we, was the vlog yeah i'm continuing yours oh we out here taking photos of our car we got a little photographer. We got Ant gonna back up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what side he's gonna go on. Um, technically, we're not supposed to do this, but we're doing it anyways. We got my car, Reek's car, and Ant's car, and we're gonna try to get a quick, quick photo. So, uh, so we don't get in trouble because we're not supposed to do this. But got a pretty clean lineup. Oh, I need to get closer, huh? It's off. Yeah. All right, hold this. Come on, 6PS, end the vlog. Over here taking photos on my phone so I can get some zoom. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is gonna uh, continue the vlog that you guys have just seen of him working on his car. Long story short, the car's finally fixed. Right, 6PS? Yeah. Almost broke my old man knees. <laughs> his car's fixed, fixed the ass axle. Axle, the CV axle, like he's not bold. But yeah, his car's done. My car's fixed. His car's fixed. This is too cold, aka Ant. Hi. <laughs> That's his right there. Um, we'll bring him in the next vlog for you to tell you what he got. Ooh. <laughs> I'm putting.